What's up YouTube, Jerry Land here again, bringing you another product that I think just might be worth your money. So today I am so, so excited to show you the brand new iMac 27 inch Retina 5K display. This is amazing. Just the amount of pixels that are able to be produced on this computer is astonishing and I am so excited to get into this review. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is definitely the price. This is going to cost you a pretty penny. The current iMac 27 inches are retailing for uh, the 3.2 gigahertz model is, uh, I think, $17.99. And they, of course, Apple has certain discounts every so often, like student discounts and whatnot. And then the one that's closer to the current model, um, the 27 inch that is running with a 3.4 gigahertz model is at $19.99. And again, you could probably get a student discount with that. But this, the base model for the new Retina 5K display 27 inch iMac, the base model starts at $24.99 and that's running with a 3.5 gigahertz. So there's your price range. It depends on what you prefer. Honestly, this iMac is probably going to be more for the professionals, maybe the videographers, the photographers that really, really um, are interested in getting that amazing pixel count, um, just the amazing screen um, display and just working with that through their photography and their videography. But if you are a an avid tech user and you just watch lots of movies, do lots of things on your computer that you really, really care about that. Um, pixelation and that amazing 5k retina display then go for it if you can afford it go for it now right, let's get into what this computer comes with okay so as you may have noticed already it looks beautiful and I am currently of course running OS X Yosemite on this which I also love I'll consider doing a review video for that leave a comment below if you want me to do an OS X Yosemite run through um, tell you what features there are etc but let's go ahead and talk about my new iMac uh, Retina with 5K that I am just grinning from ear to ear about. So we are running um, with now 14.7 million pixels. I don't even, I can't even comprehend. That is amazing. 14.7 million pixels. And now we are running with a 5120 by 2880. So 5120 by 2880 display, which is amazing and just, oh. And the reason why Apple can do this is due to their new Oxide TFT screen. Um, they're just, the new technology they've been working with and trying to develop in order to get this Retina 5K is just off the chart amazing. And I absolutely love how beautiful the display looks. So I'm just trying to give you a few extra angles of my computer. Uh, you may have noticed I am running with a Visa mount model. So this does cost a little bit more, like I said, the base model runs for $24.99, but because I have the one with the Visa mount, um, this retails for $25.39. So the reason why I had to get a special Visa mount model that you can only get from Apple.com, by the way, so uh, look out for that, is because I wanted an arm mount, which you can see right here. And um, Apple, uh, the tricky people that they are, made it so that the models from late 2012 and up till now are not able to get rid of that desk stand that comes with it. So if you bought a model from the store, you have that disc stand, and if you wanted to attach it and try to get an arm mount in the future, you won't be able to. So huge disclaimer, if you want an arm mount, you have to buy the special Visa model from apple.com. So there you go, there's my disclaimer. All right, here we go. So I just wanted to give you another angle for you to check out. So this is the side view, and of course, um, Apple kept the slim body design, so you have it being slim right here. And then you got the extra little bulk in the back. And of course, this is because this is an all-in-one computer. So um, having that extra little bulk is understandable and, of course, necessary. So I do not mind that at all. So the design of the body, so the external part of this computer, is almost exactly the same, I'd say. Um, but let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about what comes with this computer that I am just grinning from ear to ear talking about. So um, now, like I mentioned earlier, we've got 14.7 million pixels. And this is based off the same tech that the new iPad has as well, that Retina display that is just amazing. Um, but on this computer, we are now able to get um, 5,120 by 2,880 display, a 5,120 by 2,880 display, which is 
amazing. I can't even describe, you really gotta go check this out in person to appreciate how beautiful the display is. And this is all due to the fact that they are able to have an Oxide TFT um, screen technology now in the display that they're able to use. And this is something that they've been developing for a while and I am so grateful that they did that. So a little bit more about our iMac 27 inch 5K Retina display computer is that it uses 30% less energy than the last generation, even though it packs such a bigger punch in this model. So inside this one that I have, um, this is the base model, again, retailing for $24.99 uh, with the Visa mount, which I have, which will now retail for $25.39, so just a little bit more money. Um, uh, but I'm running with a 3.5 gigahertz quad core i5 processor with a turbo boost that can go up to 3.9 gigahertz, which is amazing. So I already told you the previous more expensive model of the iMac retailed for $19.99 and that was running at 3.4 gigahertz. Um, and now we're running at 3.5, which is awesome. So, um, you can also, of course, on apple.com add on a bunch of uh, different things that you prefer. Um, but one thing you can go all the way up to is a 4.0 gigahertz i7 processor, and that's running with a turbo boost of up to 4.4 gigahertz. Um, so a little bit about memory. Inside this computer, we are running with 8 gigabytes of memory, um, but it's user upgradable up to 32 gigabytes, which is pretty, pretty amazing because you can definitely find your own uh, memory chips out there for a lot cheaper than you would just doing it through Apple or something like that. Um, so let's go ahead and show you what the back of the computer looks like and show you what ports come with it. All right, talking a little bit about the ports that come in the back, we have our standard 3.5 millimeter jack, we have our SDXC card slot, and then we have our four USB 3.0 ports, and we got our dual Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 2.0 ports, and of course our giga, gigabit ethernet port. So that is just standard, that's what we got in the back going for us. And of course we still have our dual mics on our, on our iMac 27 inch 5K Retina display with stereo speakers, of course. That is just, I am so excited about this computer. So let's go ahead and flip around back to the front of the computer and talk a little bit more. So that is it people, that is what I can share with you. I gave you some specs, I talked about how much I love, love, love this display. And that's about all I can talk about because this is something that if you decide that you wanna spend the money on this, you gotta go really test it out. You gotta go play around with it and see just how amazing that 5K display is. Um, but when it comes down to it, for the average user, do I think this is worth your money? I mean, of course, if you have the money, then yes, 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 go buy the 27 inch iMac with that 5K display, go buy it. But if you are a little tight on budget and you are even just stretching it going for a 27 inch iMac instead of the 21 inch, honestly, I think that you will be completely fine with the, the previous generation of the 27 inch iMacs. Um, I also have that one. Um, and so I personally like the 5K display is amazing, amazing, especially with the whole buzz about the 4K, but now Apple's jumping to 5K and that's just like Apple. It's trying to step it up and um, that's all I can really say. So thank you so much for watching this review. If you have any questions, any comments, please, please, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if you have any future videos you want me to do, um, if there's anything else you want me to review, uh, just feel free to leave a comment below letting me know if this video was helpful and if it was cool getting a look at the 5K display iMac 27 inch, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And of course, as always, subscribe. Besides this, I have tons and tons of awesome products that are just lined up to be reviewed. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you can find out when those videos come out. Again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jerry Lan, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.